깜짝 깜짝 okay Gumchak is something that's happening in a blink of an eye. Gumchak. Okay, but what are some things that happen in a blink of an eye? If somebody like surprises you, then you're like, <gasps> right? So gumchak can also mean <gasps> you got startled. If somebody surprises you, you're like, oh, gumchak, <gasps> or you're surprised. Okay, so gumchak is like a, in a blink of an eye. Something happening in a blink of an eye. So it can be a blink or it can also be startle. <gasps> startle. 깜짝이야. 깜짝 means startle. 이야 means it is. It's a informal and present tense. So it literally means it is a startle. But in English, when we get surprised, we don't say it is a startle, right? We normally tend to say uh, express it in past tense instead of present tense. So in English, we tend to say, oh, that was startling or, oh, you surprised me, right? Uh, but in Korean, it's you can express this in present tense. As soon as you get startled, you could say, 깜짝이야, 깜짝이야. Okay, when I get startled in English, I tend to say, oh my gosh, right? But in Korean, as soon as uh, I get startled, I go, 깜짝이야. So that's, that's an expression, okay? That's how, that's what I say. It's a phrase I say when I get startled. 깜짝이야. 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 <gasps> 깜짝 놀랐어요. This is a casual formal and past tense. So you might be asking, is this a past tense of 깜짝이야? Uh, the answer is no. 깜짝이야, the past tense would be 깜짝이었어요. But the reason why I'm not teaching you guys that is because we don't really say it. Koreans don't really say 깜짝이었어요 to express it in past tense. Rather, they say 깜짝 놀랐어요. At this, uh, they would say 깜짝 놀랐어요, a completely different phrase for past tense. This is more commonly used. 깜짝 놀랐어요. And if you want to make this into an informal phrase for your friends, you can drop the yo and say 깜짝 놀랐어. I was suddenly surprised or you startled me. Okay, watch my mouth. 깜짝 놀랐어요. 깜짝 놀랐어요. 남자친구가 갑자기 나타나서 깜짝 놀랐어요. 남자친구 means boyfriend. 가 is a subject marker. 갑자기 means suddenly. 나타나서. Okay, 나타나 means appearing. The 서 ending uh, gives you a feeling like as a result of my boyfriend suddenly appearing. Okay, or because my boyfriend's sudden appearance. So, 남자친구가 갑자기 나타나서 깜짝 놀랐어요. I was suddenly surprised by my boyfriend's sudden appearance. 남자친구가 갑자기 나타나서 깜짝 놀랐어요. And uh, I also want to say... Oh, 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 BTS가 앨런 쇼에서 팬그러가 갑자기 나타나서 깜짝 놀랐어요. Okay, so in this sentence, I'm going to talk about 가. Do you see how I put 가 next to BTS 가? and fangirl ka. So there's two subject markers here. Okay, now I could have used BTS 는 Ellen Show 에서 fangirl ga 갑자기 나타나서 깜짝 놀랐어요. So I could have used 는 next to BTS, uh, the topic marker, instead of ka, the subject marker. It is so difficult to explain the difference between 
subject marker and topic marker because in English it's translated exactly the same. However, this is the difference in nuance and I'm going to explain it in this context. The reason why I use ka is because this is the first sentence that I am saying regarding BTS. Okay, what does that mean? Usually, okay, it's not always, but usually when the first sentence that's coming out of your mouth is describing the subject, it's describing BTS. So if I were to say BTS is a wonderful group, then I will say BTS nun. I would use a topic marker. So topic marker is used when you're describing that person or that thing. So BTS nun, a wonderful band group. But if there's an action involved, and this is a first sentence that's coming out of your mouth, then you would use ka. So when there's action involved, then usually it's ka is used. So BTS ka, blah, 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 dolasayo, uh, uh, which is a verb, it's an action. They were surprised. So again, you, you, you would use nun when as a first sentence that's coming out of your mouth when you're describing something. You would use ka when there is an action verb involved. And this only applies when it's the first sentence that is in a conversation where you're starting a conversation with first sentence that's coming out of your mouth to start a conversation. Then subject marker ka makes most sense in this scenario because there's an action verb, not a describing words about BTS, but an action verb is here. BTS was suddenly surprised because of a fangirl's sudden appearance at the Ellen show. BTS ka Ellen show as all fangirl ka kapjagi natanaso kamjak dolasoyo kamjak saiye Porso ai diri kamneyo. I think about this phrase a lot, especially when I look through my kids' old pictures. Kamjak uh, saiye, in the blink of an eye. Kamjak saiye, my kids have grown. Kamjak saiye. Kamjak saiye. In a blink of an eye, 벌써, already. 아이 means child or kid. 두 makes it plural, so 아이들 means kids. 이 is a subject marker. 컸네요, grown. It's a past tense. Now, the ending 네 gives you a feeling like, oh, they sure did grow. It's, it's a feeling. But in English, we could say they have grown. Uh, but... It's just the ne kind of gives you that feeling. They sure have grown. 깜짝 사이에 벌써 아이들이 컸네요. The kids have already grown in a blink of an eye. 깜짝 사이에 벌써 아이들이 컸네요.